of Richard Aaron Cobb in Huntsville. Cobb and Bianca Adams were charged with murder and rape in 2002. Adams was killed in April of last year and tonight just after six o'clock Cobb was put to death by lethal injection. KTK's Teresa Sardina witnessed Cobb's execution and tonight joining us now live from Huntsville with more on his final hour. Teresa. Hey Jen, I'm here in Huntsville at the death house where Richard Aaron Cobb was executed and pronounced dead at 627 p.m. The victim's family along with KTK were witnesses to Aaron, excuse me, Richard Aaron Cobb's execution and we have his final words. Has come to an end, life is too short. I hope that anyone that has negative energy towards me will resolve that. Life is too short to harbor feelings of hatred and anger. That's it. Those were some of Cobb's final words. I was expecting him to be whenever I went into the room. I had these um, gut feelings that I thought he was going to be remorseful. I thought he was going to be apologetic. I thought he was going to, or I was hoping he was going to address me. Uh, he knew me. He, he knew me the night that all this happened. and. He was nothing of that today. At 6.02, he was taken from his holding cell and strapped to a gurney in a small green room with bright lights with a microphone above, with the warden and chaplain overlooking him. Witnesses looking through the glass in a small confined room. He looked calm, looking up at the ceiling. I mean, I expected him to have some remorse, which I didn't, he didn't, have, any. I didn't have any. At 6.04, he lied there. The solution started flowing in his left and right arm, and it hit him. He then lifted his head and said, wow, and used an expletive and then lost consciousness. At 610, those were Richard Cobb's final words, and the lethal dose began. His eyes closed slowly, head turning towards the glass facing the witnesses. 622, the process was completed. It was quiet. The doctor came in to check his eyes pull down the sheet from over his chest to check his breathing. All eyes were on the clock. He was pronounced dead at 6.27 p.m. His eyes still open. Then he was covered from head to toe with a white sheet. Those were Cobb's final hours. The Ansley family tells KTK justice was served, and now they have the Lord to help them get through everything in this traumatic experience. And if you would like more information on this report or watch the Cobb execution special reports from KTK, please visit our website at ktknbc.com. Reporting live in Huntsville at the Death House, Teresa Sardina, KTK News. All right, Teresa, thank you. We'll